What could Eden be afraid of to tell you? That she knew Robert Barr. Uh, some time ago. Before we were married, before uh, she even knew me. That's ridiculous. Why wouldn't she say something when he first came to town? Why would she keep it a secret? I think something happened between the two of them that she can't talk about. Maybe because he won't let her talk about Wait it. Wait a minute. Are you saying that Barr is blackmailing you? I don't know what the hell else to think, Mr. C. I can't believe that my wife would be hiding things from me of her own free will. Oh, no. This may have something to do with that mystery man who's pulling the strings behind Barr. Maybe, but I, I mean, how, how would I know? You know, I can't find out anything about this case. It's, it's like, it's like some no exit, you know? It's like I, every time I turn around, I run into another wall. If Eden were in trouble, you'd be the first person she'd go to. And how do you explain her silence? Well, she's, I don't know, going through a difficult time. The takeover has frustrated her, made her angry. Maybe she just needs a little more time. Yeah, but if that were all it was, she'd be talking to me about that, right? There's got to be something else. You know, she was open for a while when she first started having these images of drowning. She didn't know if they were visions or dreams or whatever the hell they were. And then one day she described one of them to me as a remembered experience. And from that day forward, I have been excluded. I can't even bring up the subject without being told in so many words to mind my own business. Now, can either of you remember anything traumatic that might have happened to her that had something to do with water? She's confided, she's confided in me about these episodes, but I was gone most of the time that she was growing up, so I really can't attribute to anything. I don't know. Well, I was wondering about something. A few days ago, she was asking me questions about drowning. We were reminiscing about the summers we used to spend cruising with the yacht. When was that? It was in the late teens, I guess, just before college. We used to go away island hopping for a month or so, do you remember? She asked me about if she had any accidents during that time, during those months. But, but there wasn't any. Huh? No, not then, but she did have one in Switzerland in the car. She was unconscious for three or four days when she woke up. The doctor said she didn't know where she was. And how long did that go on? That means it was just temporary. I suppose she could have lost some of her memory that they weren't aware of. That would explain the frequency of the episodes. Things could be coming back to her in fragments. Yeah, and Robert Barr is one of the fragments. That, that, would, that would make sense. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay. you stay open. You both jump with conclusions. I was keeping very close tabs on her that time. I don't remember any involvement she ever had with Robert Barr. I certainly remember his name. Maybe it's Eden's past we should forget about and look a little closer to Robert Barr's. He doesn't seem to have one, Mr. C. I've never seen anything like it. Cruz, he bought his slate clean. Very simple. Something he could buy could be unbought, remember? 